I was like 18 years old and I really wanted to be a filmmaker and I had a meeting with someone and I asked them who, how do I do it, how do I get in and they looked at me and said just be a producer, don't be a director because it's just so much harder and women are really good producers. A lot of times I walk into situations where I'm really being underestimated even if I'm directing. It's difficult to sell women filmmakers right now because this catch-22 of not having a reel, but you can't build a reel unless you get work. The only people that you had to look towards were, it was mainly the struggle of like, men. And we should have diverse voices um, telling stories. The world is not going to be the, the place that it can be and the place that it should be without hearing these perspectives. An artist puts their voice in their work and the more voices we have, the more stories we can relate to. We need to create a space that's really inclusive so that people are able to share their stories and, and have support to share their stories. I think there's a lot of people who are afraid or don't want to make people uncomfortable because things have been a certain way. For some reason, men were directing shampoo commercials and tampon commercials, and now it's finally coming to agencies' awareness that, oh, well, maybe a woman should direct this, you know? Um, but at the same time, like I wouldn't want any female director out there to think that they should only do tampon and shampoo commercials. I love female stories, but I also can tell other stories too that don't just have to be about being a woman and also a human. I grew up wanting to make surf films and then I was just like, oh, this is a boys club, I'm good. There is an imbalance, so it needs to be brought to light. More women need to have access to being able to be included at early stages. I mean, like, the obvious is hire more women. Really, really focusing on those hiring practices. Up until this point, the reason why women have maybe suffered a little bit is because we haven't even really been included in the bidding process. Be in that, in that room, making, opening those doors, taking a chance on a woman, taking a chance on a person of color, letting them in and breaking up that space, I think is just the most important thing. There's a lot more that we can do. But it's, it's important that we're having these conversations. But I'd rather like blast it with the light and we can deal with it than keep keeping these issues in the shadow. Banding together a lot more and empowering each other. That shift is, is kind of beginning to change so we could have diverse and exciting voices that are all, all a part of it. It won't become a quota sort of situation anymore. It will, it'll just happen naturally. It'll be the right person for the right job.